My name is Renee Martin, Director of Learning Services at Alberta University of the Arts. When I acknowledge traditional territories, it is rooted in an awareness of the privilege I have in being here. I'm blessed to be here, to be living and working on the traditional territories of the Blackfoot people. In this spirit of reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the traditional territories and oral practices of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika, Pakani, and Kanai, the Sitena, Sarsi, the Stony Nakoda First Nations, Bearspaw, Chiniki, and Wesley, the Métis Nation, Region 3, and all those who make their homes in the Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. On behalf of Alberta University of the Arts, I thank you for sharing this land. Okay, this one is called Timiotas. It's a Kanaquan, it's a Kriakwan. I am Saul Horse, member of the Kainai Nation, part of the Black Confederation. My given name is Case Eagle Speaker. I am the lead elder for the, uh, for the Elders Council here at the Oberon University of the Arts. Uh, it was established at the same time that the uh, Lodge Post Centre was being done, and there's a lot of involvement and in giving cultural guidance to the institution and looking at Indigenous inclusion as we go along the journey that we're all on. So I'd like to first congratulate all the graduates and to always remember that every individual has a dream of what they like to accomplish in the future and what they'd like to be. And each of you have been able to get there now. But to use diligence, perseverance, determination, above all patience to achieve what, you're, what is in your heart. We're all individualized peoples in this world of ours. And each of you are exactly that, one of a kind. The gifts that you carry through the gifts of art in whatever field of art that you're into is to solidify that within your journey in life because it's only you who can make a dream come true. Nobody can do it for you. Each of you individually have excelled beyond what you thought you could do. And here you are today to celebrate that moment of the journey that you've been on and to celebrate the journey you're walking into. The world is your oyster. It is your canvas. Now it's time for you to set the mode for what the future could be. And we thank you for that. The future will thank you for that. And we see that seven generations ahead. What you do today will and will always continue creating hope for tomorrow. So we thank you and congratulations again. Hello graduates, faculty and guests. My name is Carol Ryder, the Chair of the Board of Governors at Alberta University of the Arts. I hereby declare this convocation assembled. 
As Alberta's Minister of Advanced Education, I'm honored to represent Premier Jason Kenney and all my government colleagues in this virtual convocation. To this year's graduates, the Board of Governors, President Dawes, staff members, and all the other guests joining us here today online, thank you for the privilege of joining you here today. Now I know that the hats and gowns may be packed away, but I'm so pleased that the Alberta University of the Arts has provided this unique opportunity for this important celebration. Convocation is a true milestone and one worth commemorating. Despite the current circumstances, it is important that we take this opportunity to come together even if we are far apart. And I sincerely appreciate this opportunity to offer my congratulations to all of you. As graduates of the Alberta University of the Arts, you join a proud tradition of alumni who carry the legacy of this unique institution and share Alberta's story and heritage with the entire world. I join my fellow Albertans in recognizing the important contributions our arts community makes on our society and in our communities. Once again, on behalf of the Government of Alberta, congratulations to the Alberta University of the Arts Class of 2020. Hey, it's Nahid Nenshi, Mayor of Calgary. You know, I thought that the first graduation of AU Arts would be very memorable. I didn't think this one would be quite so memorable, and I know this isn't the celebration any of us wanted. But what this crisis doesn't take away is your talent, your skill, and the fact that you're going to do extraordinary things in community through the transformative power of art. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I cannot wait to see what art you create, what you do with this crazy new world we live in, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Bonjour, good morning. I'm Dr. Daniel Dose, President and CEO of Alberta University of the Arts. Virtually joining us today are the Board of Governors, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, parents and friends, and last but not least, graduates. Thank you so very much for making this a truly unique event under the most exceptional circumstances. Last year was our first convocation at the university. It is now a privilege to attend with all of you our first online convocation. In the creative world, being unique is never a bad thing. While it will never replace the graduation we would have had in person, today has been a long anticipated date for many of you and we would be remiss in not celebrating. I also invite you to cross the stage at Convocation in 2021. Our students have worked so very hard to complete their degrees. And as a graduate, we believe it is essential to still mark this moment together so we can celebrate and share with parents, loved ones and friends their creativity, talent, and most importantly, their passion. In this world we find ourselves in, we are going to need problem solvers and risk takers. We need brilliant thinkers, shakers, and makers. So today, I would like to introduce you to more than 200 of these such individuals that will become the agent of change our society requires. They will find ways to help solve the puzzle of our next normal. And as Albert Einstein wrote, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. It is with this I know our class of 2020 is going to excel, to contribute like the alum before to creative communities and economies. I invite you to celebrate with me these remarkable individuals. Graduates, please accept my most sincere congratulations. Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Raywin Reed and I'm a graduate from the drawing department. I've been a student at AU Arts on and off for the past 10 years now, and I've seen as much growth in the institution as it has seen in me. For many of us, the university is a living time capsule. It stood witness to friendships, relationships, and all those ships, and it has mirrored many highs and lows back to us as we've developed alongside it and one another. AU Arts is a community, not a utopia. And just like every individual to have ever walked on campus, the institution is fallible, but it offers us a lesson that's important and unique. Instead of pretending that the cracks and flaws in our surroundings don't exist, 
we've learned how to turn them into poetry. If we can take a faulty circumstance and rework it into something humorous, beautiful, or even gross, it means that we can continue to adapt and thrive, and that counts for a lot in the unstable context of today. When I think about receiving my degree, all of the critical training I've had up until this point makes me profoundly aware of the fact that it's made out of paper. I think about Rene Magritte's painting from 1929, The Treachery of Images, or This Is Not a Pipe. And Magritte was right. His painting was not a pipe. It was oil on canvas with the right dose of sarcasm. This degree may be paper, but it's also an afternoon in the wood shop with the bills. It's a long day in the studio, on top of a long month in the studio, and it's the satisfaction that comes from finally breaking through a wall to write or make something that you feel proud of. It's a pep talk from Sondra Mazaros, a thoughtful research source from Alana Bartol, and an introspective moment with Maruna Dragon. It's hours spent in Mark Klimberg's brilliant lectures, and it's the life-changing opportunity of working with Rita Mako. It's this magnificent collection of friends, families, mentors, colleagues, and collaborators that have made the past four years, or many more in some people's cases, both bearable and enriching. Our time together has not been perfect, and neither are the circumstances of this conclusion. But if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a merry convocation. Thank you and congratulations. The title of Professor Emeritus is given to faculty members to recognize their significant contribution to Alberta University of the Arts and creative education in Canada. We honor three deserving faculty members this year. Jeff Leonard is a great example of someone who studies at our institution, then makes a big impact on industry, and brings back his rich and diverse experience to share with the students. Having studied here in the late 70s, Jeff began teaching as a sessional instructor in 2000, and in 2008 joined us as a permanent faculty member in the School of Communication Design. His professional career at advertising and communication agencies saw him rise from associate creative director to vice president creative director. Prior to joining us, Jeff was the president and creative director of his own firm, where he provided strategic and creative direction for local and national organizations. During his career, he worked for all sorts of interesting clients, from the Stampede to Coca-Cola, and from real estate developers to brewers. He has participated in a long list of university and industry service, research initiatives, and presentations. And along his rich journey, he picked up many awards. Congratulations to Jeff Leonard Emeriti. Associate Professor Bill Morton began teaching at AU Arts, Alberta College of Art at the time, as a sessional instructor in the fall of 1983. He has spent almost 40 years sharing his knowledge and expertise in the craft of Japanese stencil cutting and dyeing to our students, a skill he learned studying in Japan under a master dyer. Bill is responsible for the development of an entire facet of the fiber department curriculum, most specifically the courses related to dyeing and printing. Bill's work is widely collected and shown in Canada, the United States, Japan, and China. Bill is also an AER alum. He graduated in 1967 with a diploma in sculpture. And this past fall, Bill received the Board of Governors Alumni Award of Excellence, the highest honor bestowed upon an alum by our university. Bill is an amazing teacher. His warmth, calm demeanor, and passion has had a tremendous impact on countless students and the entire AU Arts community. Congratulations, Bill Morton Emeriti. In a few moments, we look forward to hearing the words from this year's faculty speaker, Laura Vickerson. Professor Vickerson first joined us in 1989 as a sessional instructor, an installation artist whose art production varies in form, medium, and scale, from more intimate garment-based works made with gauze and or wax, to large-scale installations involving rose petals pinned to yards of sheer fabric. Impressively, Laura has exhibited all over the world and has produced site-specific installations for various international exhibitions, including the Istanbul Biennale. 
Laura has also participated in several artist residencies and been the recipient of numerous grants and awards. I quote from Laura's artist statement, I am interested in the stuff of life. Laura often works with discarded objects that are at one time were part of every day's experience, saying, and I quote, these materials serve as signifiers of relationships and connection we have with the world around us and one another, end quote. It is now my great privilege to introduce our faculty speaker, Professor Laura Fickerson, Emeriti. Well, aren't we in a pickle? There's no question about it. We're experiencing a phenomenon like no other. It really sucks that we had to end the semester the way we did. It's also incredibly disappointing that we are not able to celebrate in person today or spend time looking at the amazing works in the grad show. But fear not, there will be a grad show online. However, there's so much more at stake right now, and we have the rare opportunity to reflect and really think about what we value moving forward. As graduating students, you're all well equipped to find opportunity in adversity and to be creative minds who help reshape and lead our communities, country, and the world toward a new future. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Also my limited edition Dr. Henry shoes. So now let's pretend we're all together in the Jubilee Auditorium beside our friends and surrounded by our loved ones. Good afternoon to the university administration, members of the board, distinguished faculty, honored guests, graduates, parents, families, partners, friends, and last but not least, beloved pets. All of the cheerleaders in your bubble, so to speak. This is one of my favorite days of the year. I see all your shining, smiley faces out there. I want to take a moment to think about art, craft, and design in a larger context. Like the other arts of music and dance, theater and literature, the visual arts are the essence of a culture. When we travel to international destinations, our first stops are not surprisingly the art galleries, museums, and cultural sites. Art, craft, and design are the very soul of a people. What you have studied and what you will do in your career is critically important. What you produce will tell the stories of a civilization, both personal and universal. To the graduates, it has been mine and my faculty colleagues' most profound pleasure to have had the opportunity to work with such smart, enthusiastic, creative individuals. I've witnessed your empathy and compassion towards one another. I've seen some of you struggle and falter, but most of the time, I've marveled at what you've come up with. You have continually challenged us as faculty, providing a mutually beneficial learning environment. We are very proud of you. It is important to note that every member of the Alberta University of the Arts community works to ensure our students a success. As we like to say around here, it takes a whole institution to raise an art student. From the president to the registrar's office, to the counselors and academic advisors, to the technicians, to the bookstore staff, to the librarians, to the gallery, to security and the custodians, we are all invested in your futures and your ability to thrive in your chosen field. We as a team have tried to create a safe and respectful space that embraces and celebrates difference. So thank you to the parents and loved ones for entrusting us with the education and mentoring of your children as they become young adults. Also, to the mothers, fathers, and partners that have returned to school at AU Arts to engage in creative learning, and perhaps a second career. You are indeed courageous. The greatest gift a parent can give to their child is to support their passion. The graduates here today have worked hard to pursue their dreams. It has always been my belief that if you love what you do, you are likely very good at it and will be successful and fulfilled. Being a creative is a lifelong endeavor and one that is never boring. So following this celebration, spend a little time noticing things around your house. Have another look at that artwork in your home that you never tire of. Grab that handmade coffee cup out of the cupboard that you love and use every day. Pay more attention to those award-winning ads on your TV. Think about those face shields being made from laser cut and 3D printed components right here at the Alberta University of the Arts by one of our talented faculty, which are protecting people and saving lives. These are all things you as creative minds will continue to create and invent, making the world a better place. Anything is possible. Thank you. As Chair of the Board of Governors, I have the privilege of presenting the Governor General's Academic Medal for Academic Excellence to a graduating student. Created in 1873, the Governor General Academic Medals encourage academic excellence across Canada. They are the most prestigious award that students in Canadian schools can receive. They are awarded to the student graduating with the highest average. More than 50,000 people have received this accomplishment. I present this medal on behalf of and in the name of Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Julie Payette, Governor General of Canada. 
This year, I have the pleasure of awarding this beautiful medal to Selena Martineau. Congratulations, Selena. The School of Craft and Emerging Media. The following candidates are awarded the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts. Presenting the graduands from the Ceramics Program. Katie Adolf. Rhiannon Babin, graduating with distinction. Carmen Belanger, graduating with distinction, Board of Governors Award, Ceramics. Nicole Bond. Sarah Kane, graduating with distinction. Sarah Chan, graduating with distinction. Lael Schmelik, graduating with distinction. Karen Hofat, graduating with distinction. Jennifer Obst, graduating with distinction. Amanda Rains, Kiri Ricks. Presenting the graduands from the Fiber Program. Eva Burhanu, graduating with distinction. Emma Kilburn Smith, graduating with distinction. Sophia Langle, creator of the 2020 President's Convocation Shawl. Megan Mickelgan. Dallas Nichaporik, graduating with distinction. Kate Saparko. Simone Saunders, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, Fiber. Presenting the graduands from the GLASS program. Maria Bobish. Graham Boyd. Zachary Cardinal. Receiving an eagle feather at a future date. Jellyanne Curtis. Graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, GLASS. Shania Elliott, Katie Heinrich, Angela Keating, graduating with distinction, Emily Nash, graduating with distinction, Robin Tardiff, graduating with distinction, receiving an eagle feather at a future date. Presenting the graduands from the Jewelry and Medals Program. Navy Gale. Andrew Holloway, receiving an eagle feather at a future date. Sarah Perry Din, graduating with distinction. Blake Van Buren. Jessica Vandebrand, graduating with distinction. Caleb Whitvoot, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, Jewelry and Medals. Presenting the graduands from the Media Arts Program. Brandon Dull. Lauren Fenton. Nicholas Gunhouse. Anna Villanueva Diaz, graduating with distinction. Jiwan Zhur Zhang. Winona Julian, graduating with distinction. Vishnavi Kular, graduating with distinction. Brittany Marinetta. Jamie McDonald, receiving a Metis sash at a future date. Rydell Pareto. Maya Ramsey. Justine Sawitz, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, Media Arts. Zizhu Wang. Jesse White. Sarah Yi. Congratulations to the School of Craft and Emerging Media. The School of Visual Art. 
The following candidates are awarded the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts. Presenting the graduands from the drawing program. Daniel Bejarano. Gabrielle Coates, graduating with distinction. Taryn Donald. Fiona Duffy, graduating with distinction. Leah Falk, graduating with distinction. Art John Henne Blazo. Benjamin Herrick. Paris Hollenbeck, graduating with distinction. Morgan Kuhn. Chantelle Lafond, graduating with distinction. Shaylin Lake, graduating with distinction. Jessica Lewitt, Tegan Milton, Danielle Piper, receiving an eagle feather at a future date, Jacob Price, Raywin Reed, graduating with distinction, Board of Governors Award, drawing, Shamika Singh, Nicole Swanson, graduating with distinction. Amelia Vermeulen. Sarah Watson. Michaela Wilson. Presenting the graduands from the painting program. Caroline Araujo Callisto, graduating with distinction. Ashley Brookwell. Skylar Ayer, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, painting. John Fall. Jane Finley. Alana George, graduating with distinction. Kyla Hetherington, graduating with distinction. Frozen Hydari. Dario Jajarmi, graduating with distinction. Kaylee Jordan. Robin Ma, graduating with distinction. Selena Martineau, graduating with distinction. Emily Elizabeth Miloff. Maricia Magorska. Catherine Mock, graduating with distinction. Ben Mooney. Larissa Pendlebury, graduating with distinction. Jasmine Piper. Morgan Platts, graduating with distinction. Cassandra Selena. Karn Suresh Kumar, graduating with distinction. Jen Thiessen. Zhong Lu Zhou, graduating with distinction. Presenting the graduands from the print media program. Natasha Beckering. Jordan Friesen, graduating with distinction. Luke Hoffer, Kyle Jones, Caitlin Payette, graduating with distinction, Shelby Veenstra, Siama Vialta, Crystal Wallace, Elu Zing, graduating with distinction, Board of Governors Award. Print Media. Presenting the graduands from the Sculpture Program. Jasmine McGregor, receiving an eagle feather at a future date. David McGonagall, graduating with distinction. Victoria McGuinness, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, Sculpture. 
Congratulations to the School of Visual Art. The School of Communication Design. The following candidates are awarded the degree of Bachelor of Design. Presenting the graduands from the Photography Program. Madison Case, graduating with distinction. Catherine Deller, graduating with distinction. Carolina Vasquez Lazo, graduating with distinction. Christina Merritt, graduating with distinction. Amy Prudencio. Caleb Scholes. Matthew Springer, graduating with distinction. Alaska Brian Vincent White, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, Photography. Montana Finn Willier Dau, graduating with distinction. Receiving an eagle feather at a future date. Presenting the graduands from the Visual Communication Design Program. Advertising and Graphic Design Stream. Leonor Aguero Vivas. Thomas Alvarez, graduating with distinction. Lindsay Anderson. Nellie Bencianova. John Blitt. Rowan Bohunas. Jordan Bones, graduating with distinction. Grant Bradley. Emily Cartmel, graduating with distinction. Emily Chalk. Savannah Cormack, Anielle Cunningham, Emma Delaire, graduating with distinction, Julia Dang, Celine Dennis, graduating with distinction, Michael Deborski, graduating with distinction, Board of Governors Award, Graphic Design. Winnie Fung, graduating with distinction. Alexi Golan, graduating with distinction. Jason Graham. Katrina Ginto, graduating with distinction. Jordan Herman. Caroline Huang, Board of Governors Award, Advertising. Bela Horvath, graduating with distinction. Julia Hummel. Yunjae Lee. Matthew Merritt, graduating with distinction. Jane O. Charlton Olmos. Alex Ripkowski. Cameron Richards. Graduating with distinction. Sam Ritchie. Alana Russell. Philip Salvador. Balzan Sitalieva. Ashley Van Spangen. Presenting the graduands from the Visual Communication Design Program. Character Design and Illustration Stream. Isabel Ackroyd, graduating with distinction. Aaron Adarable, graduating with distinction. Jillian Baim. Corey Budgen, graduating with distinction. Monica Kandra, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, Character Design. Lucas Shute. Elijah Craswell. Aiden Damer. Naomi Fong, 
graduating with distinction. Nicholas Gimson, graduating with distinction. Asia Hyde, graduating with distinction. Alyssa Kasprick, graduating with distinction. Kieran Croker, graduating with distinction. Nicole Kutch, graduating with distinction. Caffrey LeBlanc. Dahlia Mallet, graduating with distinction. Alex McMillan. Megan Parker, graduating with distinction. Marin Perlet. Barbara Peters. Shannon Reeves, graduating with distinction. Board of Governors Award, illustration. Allison Simpson, graduating with distinction. Ashley Somerville, graduating with distinction. Anthony Stewart. Connor Stolt, graduating with distinction. Kaylee Swartzlander, graduating with distinction. Dane Tebow, graduating with distinction. Danielle Thorpe. Kyla Twaddle, graduating with distinction. Dirk Van Paris. Meredith Wharton. Asby Whitecalf, graduating with distinction, receiving an eagle feather at a future date. Congratulations to the School of Communication Design. Art Stream. The following candidates are awarded the Art Stream Certificate. Presenting the graduands from the Art Stream program. Matthew Curran. Anna Del Fogo. Noah Doherty. Nikta Hashemian Tabrizi. Mesak Haslam. Receiving an Indigenous gift at a future date. Liu Hong. Zitong Liu. Jiang Rong Liu. Reb McInnes. Emily McKenzie. Hannah Molitor. Anna Santa Benez. Celine Siwi Pegaham. Receiving an Indigenous gift at a future date. Jade Tardif. Sarah Turner. Angelina Wurzer Myers, receiving an Indigenous gift at a future date. Dian Shu Zhou. Congratulations to the Art Stream Program. As we close today, I'd like to recognize and acknowledge the parents, families, and friends who have supported our graduates through their studies and who share in the joy and excitement of their success. Wherever you are in the world, thank you, loved ones. I invite all those in attendance to rise if you can. Members of the board, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you these graduates and ask that they be admitted to the degrees or certificates to which they are entitled. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Governors by the statutes of the Province of Alberta and upon the recommendation of the Faculty of Alberta University of the Arts, I admit you to the degrees which you are entitled and invest with you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to such degrees. At this point in time, if we were in person, I would now ask you as graduates to perform an old age convocation tradition of moving the tassel on your mortar board from the left to the right. But instead, today in our COVID-19, once in a lifetime, virtual convocation tradition, I would ask that you look to the left, to the past as a student, and then look to the right, to the future as a proud AU Arts alum. 
If we were in person, we would now walk back to the Alberta University of the Arts for the opening of the 2020 Grad Show. At that show, we enjoy one item each student has chosen to represent the best of their art, craft, and design. Today, we open the 2020 Grad Show with a special digital platform that allows graduates to select multiple artworks to enjoy from now until at least next year's Grad Show. The theme of the Grad Show is Shaping the Future, a celebration of talent, determination, and excitement of all our students. We are proud of what they have achieved and we look forward to the continued growth of each unique voice. Congratulations to our class of 2020. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Congratulations.